Hi everyone, this will probably be quite a quick video, I'm not too sure. What I need to do is I need to get a battery pack, I need to create a battery pack. It's got to be greater than 12 volts, but it's got to be less than, well, it's got to be a reasonable voltage so that I can uh, replace the cells without or recharge the cells fairly, fairly easily. So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these little things together here. So if I just push these in here. There we go. And I'll push these in as well. However they go, like that. And I'm going to put the cells in there. So, first of all I need to just uh, check that the voltages are about right. These should be fully charged. So let's check that to start with. I don't want cells that are, um, that are uh, obviously not equal. Or not anywhere near. So 4.14, 4.16, 4.15, 4 4.06. Hmm. That one possibly not in sync with the other ones, maybe. Well, I'm going to use it anyway. They're close enough. So, <coughs> if I wire these in series, it will give me around about 16 volts, which is cool for what I need it for. So that will be cell 1, then we'll go cell 2. Go cell three, and then we'll go cell four. So yeah, these are going to be wired in series. Um, now, so here's the little block, and we need to be able to actually tap into the uh, the thing. So we'll need some sort of connector there, and there, and it'll go down there, and back up across here, down there, back up across. So to start with, I need some sort of um, wire or something. It's going to have to be pretty thick wire too. Okay, I found some. It's not really as thick as I'd like, but whatever. It'll be fine. So, first thing I need to do is put a bit of flux on these and make sure they're clean. I was thinking of um, just lightly sanding the, ed the surface of these too. Just to see if uh, I could get any better adhesion when it comes to soldering. Now I don't want to go too crazy with heating these things up because you're not really supposed to heat them. But let's see what happens anyway. So I'm going to use this soldering iron because this has got like a little cup in it. Which can hold just the right amount of solder. So let's see if this is going to work. Yep, that worked. Good, good. The flux makes it a lot easier go again. It's important to be able to heat up the uh, cell really. Yeah, it's probably as good as I'm going to get. Right, anyway, next thing, we need to go here to here. So, for the next piece I'm going to use a bit of tabbing wire, which is this stuff here, which you use this when you're making um, when you're making solder, uh, sorry, not solder, solar panels. Right, where are my tweezers? <coughs> this will do. If I just press that down there, right, this is actually going to be quite difficult. So let's load the soldering iron. Oh, uh, flux, of course, flux. Bit of flux there. Okay, load the soldering iron up. Well, let's go for it. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Put this down here first. I might need to get a more powerful soldering iron, I think, for this particular job. Okay, I've got a more powerful soldering iron now, so let's see what it does. Certainly looks better. Okay.
Yeah, that's better. Now this side. Let's try again. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Tidy that one up again. Okay. So we go from here, we go down, and then we want to come back up this one, back down to this cell, and then back up. So we now need to join um, these two together. Get rid of this. So what do we need to join together? These two. These two here. So a bit more flux. And more here. Let's attempt to solder onto the surface to start with. See if we can get it, get it to stick. Yep, there we go. On this one. If this uh, like plate thing here doesn't get hot enough, it won't stick. Basically, you've got to heat the case of this cell up, which is not really great, but... But oh well, what can you do? Right, these two as well. Clean them with a bit of flux. That should be the flux done now. Let's try and heat these up. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Now some of this again, some of this tabbing wire. It's looking good there. Okay, if I can get this hot enough, it should melt nicely. That will do. And now the other side. Hmm, that's not brilliant there, but anyway, right now the other side. Cut a bit of this off. Yeah, this tabbing wire, um, from what I remember, is that copper tinned, and then it looks as though they've put some sort of uh, solder on on the top of it. Alright, let's go again here. That looks good there. And this one again. And there we go. Right, so let's have a quick look at this now. And then finally check its voltage. Just switch the soldering iron off. So there it is, they're quite warm. Um, so it should be 4.2 and it goes through here and then down here, which makes it um, 8.4 or something like that. Then down here, which makes it around 12.6 or so. And then back up here, which makes it around about 16, 17, something like that. So let me get my voltmeter now and zoom out. And let's see what it is. Let's see. So we've got connect that to there and that to there. 
16.5 volts, perfect. That's perfect. So anyway, uh, just a little video of me messing about with these little things. Ideally these need to be insulated as well with some sort of plastic. But um, yeah, I'm happy. Thanks for watching, bye.